Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8. And when last we left the Avatar, we're in the Pit of the Dead, seeking the final piece of black rock that we need. And here is a skeleton that appeared out of absolutely nowhere, who seems entirely content not to attack us. We will leave you be, Mr. Skeleton. You don't want to fight us, we won't fight you. You have no bone to pick with us after all. Ha <laughs> ha, let's just go before the skeleton hears that and decides to attack us. Anything over here? You want to get up and say hi, do you? Are you coming to just shake our hand, or do you want to attack us? Or can you actually, uh, get off that? It would seem like you can't get off that. Well, if you're stuck there, we'll just leave you be. Don't mind us. We'll just head in this direction. And maybe we'll find what we're looking for somewhere. There's a wall here. This place seems rather important. Let's go and uh, open this up. What is this place? There is a sign. Conventicle of the Dead. This sounds rather important. It's locked. It's still locked. Do we need the key of the Scion? That doesn't open it either. The key of the Caretaker? Something's not right. We don't have the key to open up this door. Hmm. Where will we find this key? Oh, we're going to need a golem to open it, aren't we? We're going to need a golem. Only the golem will likely be able to open the way. And I have forgotten how to make a golem. Do we need one of every single reagent? That might be what we need. But we need a uh, empty uh, thing to put these in. We don't have an empty one, do we? We really don't. Let's see if we can make an empty pouch. It's a shame we don't have an empty one. Everything is just full of stuff. Absolutely everything. Let's see if we can... Uh, maybe we don't need any of these reagents right now, so let's just put all of these in here. And then we can use the uh, empty pouch to make a um, thing so that we can summon a golem, because we really need a golem right now. We really do. A golem to open up this door, and then... I don't know. Beyond that, it's a mystery. Let's grab all of our reagents. I'm pretty sure we needed one of everything. We have a fair amount of stuff. Let's save before we do this, though, because I get the feeling that if I get it wrong, all the reagents are going to vanish, and I really don't want to get this wrong. Ah, Avatar, the thrill of conquest is so invigorating. Until we can actually see some of that conquest, Guardian, I don't believe that you're actually doing it. Now, let's see if I remember the spell to create a golem. If memory serves, the one ingredient out of the ones that we have here that we don't need is this one, the Executioner's Hood. Everything else we require. So we will get one of this, one of this, and one of all the other three things. I'm so glad that I held on to all of these reagents, because if I didn't have them, I'd have to scavenge around the Pit of the Dead, and I don't want to do that. There we go, if we use this here, we have the Create Golem spell. The problem is, is that we have no dirt. No dirt at all to, uh... Ooh, that looks like dirt. That looks like dirt, but I don't know if we can use the Create Golem spell on dirt beyond a door. There is only one way to find out, and that is to, uh, use this right here. It works! Excellent! We want you to open this door. Excellent, I'm so glad that that worked. Otherwise, we might have been stuck here. Because I don't think that we can uh, find any key that will open this door. That said, I don't think they... Excellent! The door is open! That said, I don't think they presumed that we would solve it this way. Either way, we have solved it! Brilliant! It's a good thing the Avatar can shout really loud and throw things through doors, otherwise we might have been stuck. We'll just defeat these enemies and have a look over here. There is a grave, and there's also a golem. We don't need you anymore. You can leave. Thank you very much. Just climb up here, 
anything here. Aha, there is a ghoul. Have at thee, ghoul! You cannot stop us from taking this piece of black rock if it is actually here. It might not be here. Also, I think this ghoul is very dead. We'll just put you there, shall we? What is this? Buried within the very breast of Lithos is the heart. Well, that sounds like something that we need, and I know what spell we need to reveal it. That is the open ground spell. A very useful spell. I thought out of all the spells, that one would be the least useful. Turns out it was one of the most useful. We need blood and black more for that one. One of each. This might be the last necromancy spell that we ever cast. Okay, let us use this here, there. Despor Lelm. We now have an open ground spell. And what we want to do is we want to save before we do anything. Because I get the feeling that Lithos might be a little bit angry when we use this spell. Just a little. At this very moment, Britannia burns. I need to see some evidence of this by now, Guardian. You just keep throwing out these claims, there is no foundation to them, and I don't believe you anymore. Open ground. Excellent. We have the heart of Earth. We want to grab this and hope that Lithos isn't going to be too angry. I get the feeling that Lithos is going to be very angry. A little bit closer. There we go. It is ours now. Let us just leave very quickly and go and talk to Vividos, because uh, if there's one person that I think would be very interested to see what we're doing, it's Vividos. We could go and see um, Lithos. I don't think that's a good idea. I wonder what Vividos is going to say when we declare that we have the heart of the Earth, that we went into the Pit of the Dead, or the Pit of Death. I think it's actually the Pit of Death, but never mind. We went there, and we got the piece of Black Rock. We have all of them now. The problem is, is that we need to free Pyros, I think. Because Pyros is in a unique situation compared to the other Titans. Pyros is bound to the Tongue of Flame, and we need to free Pyros so that we can defeat him and save Pagan. But before we do that, let's go and talk to Vividos. I hope there is some dialogue for the fact that we have this item, because Vividos hasn't been able to say anything for a very long time. Well, anything new anyway. That said, maybe he has. We haven't been to see Vividos for a very long time. We haven't been to this part of uh, Tenebrae for a very long time. And we certainly haven't been to this part of the countryside. There's nothing really dangerous here. The Avatar has defeated all of these kind of foes before. Many of them, in fact. Let's just uh, go over here. There aren't even any ghouls or skeletons to threaten the Avatar, apart from that one. But we're not going to fight that one. We're going to go this way instead. Maybe there are going to be a lot more ghouls now that we have taken the uh, heart of the Earth. Maybe. Let's go and have a conversation, Vividos, and uh, see what's been happening. I have been away for quite a while, admittedly only for a couple of days, busy learning all the other kinds of magic that I possibly can. Are you in here? You're probably upstairs. Hello, Vividos, how are you? Are you well? Hello again, my friend. I have seen the birthplace of Morians. That is well. I hope that your experience was as wonderful as my own. You have absolutely no dialogue. No dialogue whatsoever. That is a shame. I was hoping that there may have been some dialogue that would, uh, have you being surprised at the fact that we have this item. Then again, maybe you don't know that the item exists. We need to go back to uh, the plateau. We have to get that book from Mithran. It's an expensive book, but we need it, and hopefully we can just buy it off you. Are you up here? Has it been long enough that we can get another potion? You are not here. You must be downstairs. Speaking of potions, let's grab another one. We do have a lot of them, after all. Let's just grab this one and put it... Uh, there, or can we not put it in here? I imagine we can. Let's just uh, grab that, put it there. Excellent. We will have more uh, weight available to us once we buy that book. There you are, Mithran, hanging around in this room. Let's have a conversation. Good day, Kikoskia. Hello, Mithran. Ah, greetings, traveler. How fair things. 
I want to recreate the obelisk. Oh yes, we've had this conversation before, but this is the way to trigger buying that book. You are ready for the final spell that I can teach you. A spell that permits travel through the very ether itself. As you know, my friend, I am still forced to charge a modicum of obsidian for the knowledge I impart. I must ask 250 obsidian. I will pay that. Excellent. We can now begin. Here is the book that describes the process by which you cast the spell. Study it well, and you shall quickly master the necessary aspects. As you will learn from the book I have given you, each spell has particular components, in this case reagents, that are a required part of casting the spell. I can sell some of these to you if you wish, but only after you have read the spell and determined what reagents you will need. Fair enough. Do you have another potion? Aye, my friend. I have had time to concoct another. Here. Thank you. Goodbye. Farewell and good luck, Kikoskia. Let us read this final book, shall we? This book here. The Destruction of the Temple. Is this the book I wanted to read? I don't think it is. There must be another book here. Ah, there is not another book? Maybe? Or does it have, uh... Hmm, this does not appear to be the book that I want. Maybe not. Hmm. Curious. Ah, there's the book! Excellent, ethereal travel. I'm thinking, Mithran, did you just give me this book? I may have given you the wrong tome. Here you go. Ethereal travel. Ort Grav Pore. Invoking this powerful ritual permits the caster to traverse the interdimensional realm known as the Aether. A mage's first few castings of this spell will prove awkward, for inexperienced mages will have difficulty determining their destination. With time, however, the mage will be able to dictate an arrival point and appear there. Note that this spell should not be confused with a spell of teleportation, for the former permits travel only between dimensions, while the latter permits travel only within a dimension. The necessary components of this spell are hard to specify, for they seem to change depending on both the casting location and the destination. Usually the components include material native to one or both of the dimensions. There are two ways to use these components. In general, setting five pieces of the material, no smaller than a man's head, on the ground in the form of a pentacle, and concentrating on one of the chunks, all while speaking the words of power, should permit the dimensional gate to transport the caster. However, should the caster possess a tome that is already imbued with the power, such as this one, then it is only necessary to carry the five pieces on one's person. Rather than array the pieces in a pattern, the caster simply needs to invoke the power of the tome. Note, I suspect the material of the initial gate created in the ancient temple of the first pagans would suffice while in this dimension, though the location of any of the fragments as well as the destination is a mystery to me. We are using the spell. Or maybe we have learned the spell. Either way, we now know how to use it. It is now glowing yellow. But before we do that, we need to go and do something rather silly. We need to free Pyros. Let us save before we do that. This is not going to end well, but fortunately we are not going to uh, let Pyros be free for long. So let us use the recall item and head over to Demon's Crag, whereupon we're going to walk into that area where Pyros was summoned with the Tongue of Flame in our inventory. This is not going to be good. But fortunately, we will immediately go and then try and take care of the Titans. At least I hope we can do that. Where is it? It is over here. All right, Avatar. Are you ready to do something really silly? Let's do something really silly. Yep, we just did something rather bad. Let us quickly grab this, put this back in our inventory, because it is currently raining fire. We don't want it to rain fire. Pyros is free, Pyros is trying to destroy everything. We really want to uh, stop Pyros from doing that. We want to uh, put this, I think, here. There we go. And I think it's time for another save. I thought that Pyros maybe would taunt us, but no, Pyros seemed content just to rain some fire down and then go off and do something else. 
We're going to use this spell now. This spell for ethereal travel. Double-clicking it brings us to here, an entirely new location. I highly hope that Mithran is able to follow in our footsteps one day and leave Pagan. This looks like something important, but first we're going to have to deal with the Titans. There are four archways here, and each one I wager signify- Ah, hello! There's a changeling here! You absolute fool. Why are you here? Why are you trying to kill us? Never mind, you are gone. We have no more need for money. All we need to do, I think, is defeat each one of the Titans, and then we will be able to escape. I don't know which way each one of these leads to. Let's go and find out. Over here leads to a very long pathway. This pathway leads to... I don't know. I destroy you now. Perhaps you should have, Guardian. We are here. I imagine this is the Plane of Fire. I imagine this is where Pyros resides. Let us defeat Pyros first, shall we? Pyros poses the most immediate threat to everyone on Pagan. We could jump over to here. That seems like a good idea. Jump! We need to find wherever Pyros... Oh, hello! You're an enemy. Let us just defeat you, shall we? Quite quickly. We don't want any enemies to try and defeat us while we're trying to save everyone. The sooner we can defeat you, the sooner we can find where Pyros is. You are there, aren't you? And now you are dead. Let us get ready the, um... Tongue of Flame. I have a feeling the Tongue of Flame is going to be critical to our success. Let us just put that there, shall we? Where are you? Okay, there's some fire. We don't want any fire to, uh... Ooh! This looks rather important. I don't know what it does. Not at all. Let us just, uh... Oh, hello! It's a demon! We could take a demon, have at thee! I imagine Pyros is certainly trying to stop us now. We have come to defeat him. And by defeating him, I mean that we have come to take all of his power. We want his power so that we can leave. Also, we don't want to get knocked back any further, because getting knocked back further means that we will fall into the lava. This is certainly challenging. Hopefully we'll be able to rest soon. You have been bested. Excellent. Can we rest? We can rest! We can rest in the Plane of Fire. That seems really weird. We should not be allowed to do that. That is some fire. We can avoid that. And by avoiding it, I mean that we're just going to walk into it again. We're very good at walking into fire, it would seem. Anything over here? There is a pathway that we can head that goes north. There's one here as well. Can't see anything. Nothing here. Perhaps we need to use one of our spells to uh, do something like progress. Maybe we have to walk over this kind of lava. Who can say? All I can say is we need to find where Pyros is, and we need to best Pyros. Nothing there. This looks like a big open area. Nothing here, though. Nothing here at all. Let us uh, go up here. Nope, nothing there either. And nothing here? Ooh, there's a tree! Perhaps we are making some headway. And when we come back, folks, we will see if we can best Pyros, the Titan of Fire. And then we're going to have to best all of the other ones. Fingers crossed we can do that. For if we can't, Pagan is doomed. We want to save Pagan, both from Hydros and Pyros' destructive might, and also from Stratos and Lithos' destructive might. And hopefully then, we can escape Pagan and face the Guardian one last time. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.